Today in Review This Thing, we're here at Camping World to take you on a feature review tour of the Dutchman Eddie Bauer Signature 360 LF. This is Robbie. And this is Adrian with Review This Thing. If you don't know, Camping World has teamed up with Eddie Bauer to create some Signature Series RVs. If you haven't heard about that, then you're in luck because we're going to take you on a tour of this one today. If you have this RV, comment below and let us know what you think. What do you like about it? Any tips and tricks? And what would you change? Well, if you're ready, we are. Let's go ahead and take a look. The Eddie Bauer Signature 360 LF is a 40 foot long fifth wheel RV with a dry weight of 11,300 pounds and a GVWR of 14,000 pounds. It has laminated rear and side walls, sleeps up to six, and has one and a half bathrooms. It also boasts a 44 gallon freshwater tank, 78 gallon gray and black water tanks. You know we like to start our tours outside, so let's head up to the front. Up front, you'll see, of course, the fifth wheel kingpin hookup with a rotating head and this nice little strip of LED lights to help you when you're hooking it up. And then, of course, you can't help but notice the front cap with the Eddie Bauer signature. It's important to note that this whole front cap is actually insulated and you see more LED lights that actually wrap around the front. Directly behind the hookup, you'll see a fairly large storage area that has a magnetic hold at the top. This is for your battery, obviously anything else you want to store. There's also prep in here for a tire pressure monitoring system. Speaking of tires, unlike several of the RVs we've shown you, the Eddie Bauer Signature 360 LF does come with a spare tire. And finally, this RV has a six point electric auto leveling system that is controlled with a push of a button. Now let's head over to this side of the 360 LF. So the first thing I want to point out is this slide. One huge thing I love is that all the slides on this RV have a slide cover. So it keeps sticks and pine cones and mess from getting on top and keeps it from getting inside whenever you put the slides back in. Now the next thing you'll see is this compartment here that houses one of two 30 pound propane tanks. The other one is going to be on the other side. And then we're going to move to where there's a really impressive large storage compartment. And you can see here how huge that is. Right here you're going to notice this is where that electronic leveling system is. And you also have the uh, Bluetooth capability with that system, which is pretty cool too. I also want to point out how they did a really good job in here of tucking all these tubes and wires away. So hopefully we won't have to worry about getting hung up if you're moving things in and out. It's also pretty easy to see that this is pass-through storage. So you'll be able to get to it from either side of the RV. And check out this flooring. Under here is Hyperdeck composite flooring that is water resistant and lighter weight, which will hopefully help it last for a very long time. And it has a fully heated and enclosed underbelly. And now I want to show you the convenience center. Here you're going to see a nice LED light, your cable hookups, we have a hot water bypass, so whenever you're winterizing and such, your valves aren't insulated, which is a cool um, aspect. The city water connection, then you have a port for your sprayer hose, and then you have a black tank flush valve right there. And when I first saw this, I was wondering this, but there's actually a space here where you remove that and your pipes are gonna come through there, so you're gonna be able to shut this and keep everything protected. Okay, now we'll close that back up. You see the Furion tankless water heater here. That's always a neat feature, just being able for everybody to take their showers without having to wait for the water to heat up directly beside your furnace. Then we're gonna go by another one of our large slides with the cover that you'll see up there. And if that really large storage space I showed you earlier wasn't enough, there's another one right here. This one happens to be locked, but I'll show you from the other side. Here you have your 50 amp hookup and your fresh water connection. Now let's move around to the back of the 360 LF. The first thing we notice here there's another opening to the storage space that Adrian was telling you about earlier. This RV is also equipped with a 3,000 pound hitch, which should allow you to carry any bikes or scooters or anything like that that you need to. It has a 250 pound weight capacity rear ladder and has a fully walkable roof. You'll obviously want to get on the roof for maintenance and cleaning, but this RV is also prepped for solar on the roof if that's something you're interested in. The roof is also built with decking and fiberglass insulation, which should help with the temperature control. The really cool thing about this, this unit actually has a backup camera on it. And before we head inside, let's take a look at the entrance side of the 360 LF. The first thing you'll notice when you come around the back is a pretty cool feature. This RV actually has an outside refrigerator, so you don't have to go inside every time you want to drink. And next, underneath the refrigerator is a propane hookup so that you could hook up a grill or a Blackstone. Coming on around, it has a secondary entrance. We'll show you more about that from the inside. Just above this door, you'll notice one of the two power awnings. And that's really nice because if you're out here cooking, you're going to stay covered and not be out in the elements. It is a one and a half bath, so here's one of the black tank flush valves. Coming up to the front, we've got another slide, and then above it, there's another power awning to cover your main entrance. 
and on the outside of this slide is a cable hookup, a GFCI outlet, and a mount for your TV. So that way, while you're out here grilling, you can watch the game. Before we go inside, let's skip up to the front real quick. The first thing I want to show you is that it is prepped for solar on the side. So if you want to have a big solar panel, you just connect that right there. Here's that other 30 pound propane tank that we were talking about. And then if you remember the ginormous storage that we showed you on the other side, here is the other side of it. You can see here is the solar control panel prep. And just above this storage, there are two exterior speakers. And now we're getting closer to going inside. You'll notice these step above, very sturdy aluminum stairs. And then there's this foldable handle, which makes it really easy to get inside. And then one really neat feature of this 360LF, it actually has keyless entry. So if you're going to the lake, going swimming, whatever, you don't have to worry about keeping a key. You just type in your code and then you go. Okay, now that we've been all the way around the 360LF, let's check out the inside. First, we're gonna head into the kitchen. The dual opposing slides in the 360 LF make this a very spacious kitchen and living space. So spacious, in fact, that there's room for this really big island right here in the middle. The countertop is a pressed surface countertop, so it's non-porous. It should be really easy to clean with this really pretty marble look. We also have some very pretty overhead lights. A lot of these things that you're going to see inside just really show the effort and energy put into the design with the Eddie Bauer Signature Series. So here's our sink. It is a drop-in stainless steel, one bowl farm sink, and it has a high-rise faucet with a removable spray head. The next thing I wanna point out is that green Signature Eddie Bauer color with these pretty handles. And you can see those drawers move really easily. It actually has a slide out to trash can bin. That's a really just thoughtful addition. There's plenty of storage under this island it should have enough room for everything that you need to have. So then we're going to come over here to as we look at our main cooking area. Again, that press countertop. We have a glass cover on our three burner gas stove and a graystone oven. And again, storage under here, another drawer there. And then we have our microwave that has a vent and a light just above our stove. I also think this was a really cool touch. They have a collapsible power tower right here in the kitchen and then just push it away whenever you're done. Another cool feature to me in this RV is that it comes with a 16 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. That just seems like a really big fridge freezer. Uh, you haven't picked up on it yet. One of the themes of this RV seems to be storage, storage, storage. So over here we have even more storage space. It actually goes all the way up to the ceiling of this RV. And speaking of the ceilings, you can see I'm 5'4". There's a whole lot of room up there. And then you have the ever important TV entertainment center. We got more storage over top, a big screen TV right here, your media controls right here in the middle, storage on either side, and a 5,000 BTU electric fireplace to give you a little bit of extra ambiance and some heat. And before we get around to the other side of the RV, let's open this little door right here. We mentioned this space earlier when we talked about that secondary entrance, but this space is awesome if you're traveling with a larger family or if you have another couple with you. We have a queen bed right here with a nightstand, outlets handy down there, and then you guessed it, more available storage. Overhead is another queen bed, which you can get to with this ladder. And then, amazingly enough, more storage. There's a couple outlets up there and even a cable outlet in case you want to have a TV up there. Moving around past the entrance is probably one of my favorite features of this RV. And we have a half bath right here in this bunkhouse. It has a sink and a toilet. That means anybody that's sleeping back here doesn't have to go all the way up to the front and use the main bathroom. This half bath is also important because it's right next to your secondary entrance that we showed you earlier. So if you're outside grilling, you can just hop right in here and use the bathroom. Let's head back out to the main area. Where you'll find this super nice reclining sofa right across from the entertainment area. This is nice. I could sleep here. We must get up for the rest of the tour. I want to show you there's plenty of overhead light here as well as a really pretty decorative light over our booth dinette. You can see they carried over that pressed marble look to the table in our dinette. And then underneath you'll see, you guessed it, even more storage. And with just a little bit of work, this dinette actually becomes a bed as well. I'm 5'4 and really have plenty of room, which is kind of nice compared to some of the other RVs that we've seen. And if we look under the seats, you saw that storage drawer. But when we pick this piece of plywood up, you can see there's a potential for even more storage on the backside. And just past the dinette, we have this beautiful green storage cabinet. If you look on this side, there's even more storage. And then your breaker box is right there below. And before we move to the master bedroom, I do want to point out in here all the AC vents. There's dual AC vents on either side, and it's going to keep you much cooler. 
Down below, we have this really pretty wood look flooring throughout, which should make it easy to keep clean. Heading towards the stairs is the control panel for the 15,000 BTU air conditioning unit. And above is the control center for the whole RV. It also has Bluetooth connectivity, so you can control it all from your phone. Now let's go up the stairs to the master suite. First off on your left, we have this really nice size bathroom. Little linen closet storage right here. And then we have a really large shower that I can get into and have plenty of room. I'm 5'10", and you can see I can stand up in here no problem. And then we have a porcelain foot flush toilet Come around to the double vanity with that same pressed countertop and plenty of storage in the cabinets below. And let's finish off the tour of the inside with the master bedroom. The first thing you'll see is the slide that allows for this king size bed. There are windows on either side as well as USB ports so you can charge your phone or plug in your tablet or whatever you want to do there. Obviously this bed has a lot of room. I don't want to put my shoes on it, but it's a really good size bed. There is a little bit of room on either side to kind of scoot around so you can uh, don't have to climb off the end of your bed. Next we have a sliding wardrobe and you have some shelves here as well as a rack to hang up your clothes. And then more storage. A couple of cabinets overhead and then below this has a washer dryer prep right there. Having that washer and dryer option is a pretty cool feature. And we finish off our tour with this built-in dresser, that pressed countertop, more drawers and cabinets and then above you have an outlet for your tv as well as a cable if you like watching tv while you're in bed and also pretty awesome with this rv is it actually has a second ac unit i believe it's 13,500 btus so you can make sure that your bedroom is plenty cool enough regardless of the temperature of the rest of the rv and there you have our feature review tour of the dutchman eddie bauer signature 360 lf as we mentioned before, if you have this RV, comment and let us know what you think about it. Also, comment and let us know which RV you'd like for us to take you on a tour of next. If you have any questions, ask below, but you can always call your local camping world and they'll be happy to help. As always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Dutchman Eddie Bauer Signature 360 LF feature review tour. While you're here, watch a whole bunch of other videos. Give this one a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment, let us know what you think. Check out our website, ReviewTheSingTV.com. Sign up for our newsletter. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and on Facebook.